What's up, everybody? Welcome to the playoffs of the PGA Tour. I guess, really, the PGA Tour never really stops, to be honest with you. They, they continue to play. Um, we get, after the playoffs, which is three weeks this year, we get two weeks off, and then we start the fall circuit, which is what the PGA Tour considers next year. And, and what that does, it just needs an end point, just like the NBA or the MLB. Everything needs an end point um, to start anew and to sell new rights and get new players or else, you know, we just keep seeing the same faces year in and year out. So here we are. We're in the playoffs, the last three events of the 2018-2019 season and top 125 golfers uh, from the FedEx Cup regular season are here this week. And we're going to start with my model breakdown. Uh, we're going to do back-to-back -back videos here. So, of course, the other one will be the three ball. But first, we're going to talk about the model. A little different this week and I like to this is why I like to actually do the model breakdown every week because it will change um, especially the weightings and, and so on and so forth so um, obviously and also I may I like to make additions or subtractions or just trying to make it better and a little bit more user-friendly so of course got the players uh, and the rank um, if this is your first time watching a video the MYOM stands for make your own model rank and as you can see here MYOM down here as well we'll go to that real quickly first this is the page where you can now make your own model what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the weighting the number you see in the red to the corresponding uh, number that you'd like to put there for whatever category is below so this one is odds, next one yearly strokes, gains, so on and so forth. And when you change the weightings, you're going to get a different rank. And that rank will be in this MYOM rank. And of course, the projected points is just cut off your screen right there in comment. So uh, just wanted to clear that up. Uh, got, of course, the ownership and the ability for you to project your own ownership. And what I have done here also is I've tried to match up. So if odds comes first, you're gonna you're gonna be able to go to the odd sheet, which I've uh, I've also included. And again, if this is your first time using it, each one of these columns will have their own sheet to it. So that way, if you just want to see what the odds are for the tournament and want to see everybody on one page without all the other mess and gobbledygook that's in there, great, you'll be able to do that. So, um, of course, uh, also have the strokes gain dashboard. Um, that's very important because. It basically covers all the rest of the stuff that is to the right of the projected points, which is strokes gained for the year, other statistical measures, some uh, more recent strokes gained actual numbers, approach numbers, recent form, uh, course history, and then of course DraftKings uh, points. So with that being said, uh, it's just a little bit easier to see all this information without scrolling all the way over. But of course, that's why I have you if you're an awesome.com plus member. And if you're not, of course, use the code uh, three ball for me. I think that's the one we're using for these. So um, you're able to download this and do it with whatever you please. If you're um, an NXL expert, great. You'll be able to use it freely. If you're not an Excel expert, uh, well, maybe um, it'll take a little bit of getting used to. But certainly I don't I don't have any advanced things in here. Um, okay, so we'll go over the strokes gain dashboard here for a minute just so I can explain some of the changes that I've made. Um, first and foremost, what I've done is I've done it since the PGA Championship now for my rolling strokes gained. It incorporates about eight weeks, seven or eight weeks. Uh, most golfers will get three or four starts. So um, just changed my numbers a bit. Also took away 2018. We don't really need those anymore. Um, but I left the 2000 just to see for a baseline um, of things. So um, you can see your baseline here. Of course, we can see the max uh, and the mins, which uh, I've talked about plenty of times. Um, we like to see all green here, of course, if we could, or at least green and yellow. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean if there are some reds that it's not a bad play. Again, it's just it's certain parameters that we're looking for. In this little portion here, I put their DraftKings points for the last six weeks, their course history, which only two years, and it's actually not 2018, I apologize. It's actually 2013 and 2009 that uh, the tournament was played here. Of course, I put in the recent form and then ownership and the projected ownership. So really a great tool to go and find information about a specific golfer. Whichever go uh, golfer you are using or looking for, it, you'll be able to just click in A3. and Go ahead and give the guy, I'm just going to click on Ty Hatton here. Um, and his stats will then pop up. So give it a second. Of course, it doesn't load correctly. Um, but hopefully that gives you a good indication of what you can see in my model and how it can help you and how I use it at least to build out my lineup. So 
Uh, come back from uh, to learn about a couple of players and the golf course this week in uh, my three-ball video, which you should be able to see pretty soon thereafter. Cheers, everybody.